some salt water here from the Pacific Coast and we're going to test the Vortex water distiller kit on salt water to show how it works as a desalinator. So Bill is going to load up the pressure cooker. We've got two different pressure cookers. We've got the Vortex modified pressure cooker with the Vortex adapter to increase the flow rate but we also want to demonstrate how you can use it with a conventional pressure cooker and if you'll see the vent on the top that's the kind of vent you need in order to attach the vortex system. We are setting up the vortex coils in this wash basin. This so we are going to test the flow rate now with two shot glasses and we've got one system set up with a post filter to take out any volatile organic compounds VOCs which the distillation process does not remove and so we do include a post filter with each of the vortex systems. We are timing this to see how long it takes to produce one and a half ounces of distilled water. Now you'll want to either prime the post filter beforehand or else it will take some time to get that filled up with water which it did for us but now we've got both flowing and in practically no time We've almost got this one on the right full. And the other one is trying to catch up. Not too bad, but just a little slower. Two minutes, 20 seconds, I would say. Two minutes, 20 seconds? Still that one. Okay. We'll have to do about it. three quarters of an ounce per minute, which about. is what we claim. Yep. Three quarters of an ounce a minute for the Vortex adapter on our modified pressure cooker. That's four minutes. Four minutes and it's just about full. So we've got two minutes, 20 seconds compared to four minutes. And now Bill is going to test the final product. What does it taste like? It's perfect. Oh, awesome. Absolutely. So, no salt taste. Let me no, have a try. No plastic taste. Okay, here we are. That tastes great. I mean, this, this was Pacific Ocean water, and it tastes like it came out of the tap. Skull. <laughs> We were just discussing how the water is still cool in there and that really facilitates the condensation. Now once the water starts to warm up, you just want to replace it with colder water so that you'll be able to maintain your flow rate. And you don't want hot water passing through the post filter because that could affect the, the taste possibly, or the effectiveness. So there you have it. That's a wrap. We've got a great tasting end product to our Vortex distiller kit that distills ocean water into drinking water. Thanks for watching.